Okay, we're on part two on our tutorial. I asked you guys to go up to the 24th row at the end here, which I ended up with white. And if you changed colors on the top and you had white, you would have ended up with black at the end. Um, right now, what we're going to do is you're going to flatten this down as much as possible. And I, on the top here, just make sure it's nice and flat. Get two crochet markers. You can use either yarn, um, I use bobby pins or crochet markers that are sold in the store. Um, I use bobby pins and you're just going to need them for each side. You flatten each side down and the one that's on the very corner, you're going to take the marker and mark it. And then you're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. And now we're going to start on the ear flaps. I'm going to go and get the black now because I ended with white. Now I'm going to change to black. And I went. Okay. I think it's all tangled up. Okay, so I have my black yarn here, and I'm just going to make a little loop so I can add it on to my yarn. And we're going to start on one side, and I like to open this up so I can count here. Don't worry about the loose strand here. We're going to go back six stitches. So not counting the crochet marker, just counting this one going next. We are going to count back six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to attach my yarn. And I'm going to chain up one. And I'm going to single crochet all the way down till you get to the 13th. Um, stitch. So this is one. I'm going to go to the next single crochet. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I'm going to take my marker out now. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, and last one, 13. Now with this part, I'm going to leave my yarn attached because we're going to bring this up into like a triangle. So I'm going to add on to my white now, and to do that I'm going to do another little loop, just like we did with the black, almost like doing a slip knot. There it is. And I'm going to turn my work around. And what I'm going to do here now is, instead of like you going into the first stitch, you're going to move over and go into the second stitch. So let's go into the second stitch and we're going to add the white now. And yes, I still have it on my hook. So I'm going to bring that through and then I'm going to bring it through the black as well. See that? Now, I am going to chain up one, bring it through. 
and we're going to single crochet all the way down. And I'm laying down my black straggler. This is not the straggler, this is the loose um, black yarn. So when I end up here, I can just add it on and go back. It will be crocheted inside as you can see here. Instead of cutting, I'm just crocheting right over it and leaving this little strand. Which is not that much yarn, so don't think that you're using too much yarn. Just lay it straight down and crochet right over it just like if you're crocheting over the loose stragglers. But this is the other side of the black yarn. That way you don't have to keep on cutting off. So now we're going to use the white and continue crocheting all the way to the end in each stitch. But just make sure you lay down the straggler and the black yarn that you've been crocheting the next round with. I think I went a little too far. Yes, I did. No, that's the right one. Okay. Now we're going to turn our work around. Instead of doing with the white, we're going to do it with the black. And if you crocheted right over it, your black yarn should be on the other side like this. So now I'm going to skip this one, move to the second stitch, and single crochet. Just like so. There you go. Now we're going to single crochet all the way back. And we're going to lay down the white yarn now. Oops, I didn't lay it down the first one. Lay it down and bring the yarn over. There you go. Just like so. And we're going to lay down the white part now. And single crochet right over it with the black. Last one, which is going to be kind of hard to get through, but get it anyway. Now we're going to turn our yarn around, project around, and we're going to do the white. So we're going to skip the first stitch, move along to the second, bring in the white, and now we're going to lay down the black and single crochet all the way back with the white laying down the black yarn right over it now we're back again at the end and we're going to turn our work around and we're now going to lay down the white which I already do ahead of time. Bring in the black, skip the first stitch, move along to the second, bring the black yarn in, and start single crocheting right over, laying down the white yarn right on top, and crocheting right over it, single crocheting all the way back. Now we're going to turn our yarn work around. Get the white yarn now, skip the first, move along to the second, bring the white yarn in, and single crochet across, laying down the black yarn right on top. Oops. 
OK. And then we're going to chain, turn our work around, and we're going to lay down the white part now. We're going to go into the second one, bring in the black, do the same thing again, single crochet all the way down. Turn our work around, single crochet, the last one, which is going to be white, and it'll be two. One and two. Actually, this is not the last one. I got three. You have to count the stitches. Make sure it, sometimes it's white at the end, but you still have to do it. Now we're going to turn, bring in the black yarn now, skip the first, move along to the second. There's one, and move along to the next, and two. Now we're just going to fasten off my scissors. Cut both yarns. And what I like to do is open this up a little bit and bring both yarns in at the same time, two colors, and pull. And that is the end of that. And there's our ear flap. Now what you want to do is go on the other side, count back six, single crochet again, 13, and do the same thing again going back and forth. And I'll meet you for part three on this tutorial.